Okay, guys, we got this tubing, and uh, this tubing fits perfectly over my axle, as you can see, just like that. And it uh, this is actually pipe, it's not tubing. The difference being that pipe has a seam on the inside of it, and I'm using my phone so I can't see. Yeah, can you see this little do flicky right here that's the seam on the inside of that pipe yeah so the only way this will work is because I have a keyway all the way across my axle so I just line up that part with the keyway on the axle and it slides right on now it is all in place and look at that paint job boy is it shiny or what Yes, sir, Bob. Turns out that I was able to uh, source out a chrome sleeve that fit perfectly over that uh, pipe that I had got to go over the axle. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where it came from. It's another one of those things that I've had in my stash for a while. Um... I think it's a little too small for vacuum cleaner, but who knows? Um, it probably came from the dump, like a lot of things that I get like that. And uh, this took me a while to get this together once I got all my pieces cut, because you have to remember there is an Allen key in here, and there is another Allen key in here. And this all had to be put together one piece at a time, so the axle had to be slid through. And I had to get get this part in place, then slide this on, then put the Allen key in. And then I slid the, uh, actually the pipe here helped me to get that Allen key slid into the sprocket without the chrome on. I was using it as a slide hammer after I shaved just a hair off so it would slide a little bit and then um, I had to shave this one here so it wasn't a pressing fit it's it was snug but it was able to slide so the axle could slide through this and then I had to stop the axle flush on this side of the hub and get this piece of tubing the, the um, yeah the pipe that's inside plus this tubing on top of it uh, lined up and remember I had to make sure also not only that it was lined up to go through but that I had that little uh, groove on the pipe lined up with the key slot you know so I messed with that and this is a snug fit so that I actually had to pull it up and pry it into place and I finally had to have my wife come out because I couldn't try to keep this lined up here and swing my dead blow hammer on this end to drive it through. So she helped me with that and uh, between the two of us we finally got it all the way through. So uh, yeah, I'm tickled pink. I hadn't planned on this chrome because I hadn't seen it, you know. And uh, when I was cleaning the tubing or the pipe uh, and deburring it after cutting it to length, I'm walking by my metal bin over here and I saw this piece of tubing down in here. So I grabbed it and whew, I couldn't believe it when it slid right on. So look at that. Will you look at that? It's a thing of beauty. Look at that chrome going on. Hoo! -wee! Yep, I'm going to have to make an adjustment on my brake discs. I had them lined up when I cut everything. Um, but now that it's all together, they don't line up quite right. So I'm going to have to shift my band to the right, our right. Don't focus on my finger which means I'll have to extend this nut here. That's not a problem. Um, so yeah, minor adjustment to be made. And uh, 
I have my final drivetrain, a drivetrain, drive chain in place. And we have our tensioning wrench all hooked up. Going to have to make a little bit of an adjustment on that because uh, the chain doesn't run perfectly centered on that guide pulley. And I would like it to be perfectly centered. So it might be just a matter of uh, putting another washer in here just to kick that over here. Or even maybe uh, putting a washer up in the top here to space this out away just a hair more. And that would work dandy for me too. So, yep, I'm a happy camper with that. More progress. Whoops, back you out here. More progress. And uh, I've got to go in now and do some honeydew stuff in the house. So it'll be a couple of days before I get back out here again. But I thought you'd like to see this. And um, once I get all my set screws in place and tightened down, then I'll be putting my wheels back on, which are down here all covered up. And uh, I've got to finish mounting my gas tank. I've got to go do some shopping on Wednesday. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for some pertinent pieces. Can you say that? Pertinent pieces? Like a different setup for my foam rubber. I'm not, yeah, look at that. See, it's, it's all falling out. I hadn't even noticed that. Yeah, that don't make me happy. That's not going to, that's not going to work at all. Yeah, so I'm going to see what I can do. We'll, we'll make it work. Don't, don't fret. Don't get excited. We'll make it work. So, anyway. Oh, I got one more thing before I go. And this is for Terry. Texas Viking. I'm wondering, Terry, if I were to mount this up here somehow, if I were to drill through that nickel maybe, Mm -hmm. think that would stand the gaff of bouncing around I know you're a good welder you let me know in the, the uh, comments or send me a private message whatever or you can send me an email and for anybody who wants to send me emails my email for my channel is all lowercase the shade tree fix it man all lowercase all one word no gaps at gmail.com so yeah that would be cool this is a piece that uh, terry made for me nickels and what i plan on doing is polishing it and then putting a coat of clear lacquer on it before i hang it and of course the g stands for goofy or could stand for George, I suppose. But it really is for Goofy. Anyway, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, we're having a beautiful day here in southeastern Minnesota. Enjoying the 50-whatever degrees, almost 60-degree weather. Uh, 40's coming. Oh, wait, one more thing. A couple of guys were concerned about me using super glue to uh, mount my tail lights into my tail light pods. This is what I'm going to be using JB Weld Super Weld. And according to what I have read online, it is suitable for exterior use as well as interior use. And so it should be suitable for the amount of moisture that this will ever see. I'm not going to be driving in the rain. And the I will be mounting them in. Let me pull them out of my parts box here. I will be mounting them in the hole after I get the wiring done and gluing them fast. And then once they're glued fast, I can still remove the lights from here. But... Uh, I wanted to get it wired up first so I have it hanging out here and have more room and not have to be fighting with the rubber grommet while I'm trying to wire it up, don't you know? So, 
hope that satisfies those who are concerned and uh, we're taking it under advisement. And I, I did a lot of research and it seems super glue works about the best. And this is what I bought for my wiring. Um, for my taillights and for my headlights. Um, we may or may not, probably not now, I was going to uh, have a separate brake light back here. Oh, now that makes me think. Huh. Maybe my question for Terry was a moot question. Because maybe... What I'll need to be doing is mounting my brake light back here. Hmm. Well, we'll see. The other thing I have to be aware of is the other parts for the brake light. The other thing I have to be aware of, and I'm not sure where I have it hanging up on the wall. Maybe it's not hanging on the wall. Oh, there it is, way over there. See that triangle over there? If they allow me to use this on the road here in town, as a golf cart, I will have to have that triangle uh, mounted back here. So I may have to make provision for that. I hate to do that because that triangle will cover up all of our cool stuff, you know. But you got to do what you got to do if you want to drive it on the road. And if I can't drive it around on the road, which is a very strong possibility, then I won't have to use that. And uh, it's very possible that our first test drive will be at the airport, just like it was for the gadget bike. Although I may uh, ask for permission from the local police department to run it down the street one time here. But we'll be doing a little bit of testing right here in the driveway anyway till we uh, get a few things worked out. We can do our forward gears and check it for reverse gear and all that good stuff. All right, now I really, really am going this time. Woohoo, look at that bright sunshine. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I think I already said that once. Bye for now.